Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we are discussing Valentine's Day as well as going over a little history by comparing the event from past games. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So thanks to the most recent update released a couple of weeks ago now, we can now celebrate Valentine's Day on our New Horizons Island. Just like other mini seasonal holidays and events, if you head to the Residence Services Centre and use the Nook Stop or access the Nook Shopping app on the Nook phone, you can navigate to the Seasonal Events tab at the far end to check out all of the regional holidays currently taking place and discover a number of limited time items associated with the holiday. One of the latest additions is of course some Valentine's Day items including chocolate hearts and heart-shaped bouquets. The cool thing about the Valentine's Day items is that they come in a variety of designs and colours too. The chocolate heart is available in milk chocolate, dark chocolate, white chocolate and strawberry chocolate designs, whereas the heart-shaped bouquet is available in red, black, purple, pink, white and yellow, which is really awesome. You'll be pleased to know that all of the designs are available on your island, with a different one appearing randomly each day, which is great if you're looking for a specific version. Anyway, as always, if you want to learn a little more about the items or the event itself, just press X on the item to bring up some extra details. It's nothing too groundbreaking, but it's still a nice little feature. Now, it's worth mentioning that these items are already available and have been since the 1st of February, but can only be ordered up to the 14th, which is of course Valentine's Day itself. So only a couple of days left to get your orders in if you want to gift them to friends or villagers in time for Valentine's. Anyway, as you know, Valentine's Day is the celebration of love and affection in a variety of regions all around the world. And although only a small seasonal event, it's still pretty cool to see it finally added to New Horizons, especially since it was featured in previous mainline games. For example, in the original Animal Crossing, a bunch of villagers would send you Valentine's Day letters along with gifts which would differ depending on your friendship level with them. Furthermore, a few weeks before Valentine's Day, the villagers would actually begin talking about the holiday and hint that they would be sending out chocolates to someone special, which was really nice. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure why something like this wasn't actually added to New Horizons, especially since the villager dialogue is somewhat tedious now, especially for long-term players, and could be improved. Anyway, like many of the holidays, they changed slightly over the years with each new game, but were still quite relevant and significant holidays. By the time Let's Go to the City was released, the Valentine's Day holidays gained a whole new mechanic almost, as Brewster, who famously runs the Roost Cafe, would sell hot chocolate as a Valentine's Day special, instead of the usual coffee, which was a really cool addition to the game and gave players something extra to do while playing. And just like in the original, players would receive a Valentine's letter, as well as limited time items that were distributed as DLC over Nintendo's Wii Connect. So quite a lot to do on Valentine's Day in Let's Go to the City when compared to an average day. Moving on, by the time New Leaf was released, Valentine's Day was much the same with a few extra features as you'd receive a letter from Isabel with a chocolate cake and a present from your mum. Villagers would still give out chocolate hearts to players too as long as they were best friends or had a high friendship level and of course Brewster would still serve coffee at the roost. So again, a pretty cool day in New Leaf Towns. Anyway, whilst Valentine's Day items we receive in New Horizons are very similar to those in past games, we are missing out on receiving presents and letters from villagers, which is a shame, and unfortunately can't buy any hot chocolate or anything like that given that Brewster is yet to return to New Horizons. With that said, it's still pretty awesome Valentine's Day items were added in the seasonal tab and in a variety of designs. But what do you think about these mini seasonal events in New Horizons? Do you wish there was more to these holidays like in previous games or are you just happy with a few bonus items here and there? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Anyway, for now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe as I'll be uploading a bunch of New Horizons news as and when it happens. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters as well as this channel's members. You guys absolutely rock and truly help me upload as regularly as I do. I couldn't do it without you don't forget to head over to our discord server too and of course if you made it to the end of the video please comment valentine's just to let me know you did that would be super awesome and please be sure to include which villages you'll be gifting chocolate to i'd love to know anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining please be sure to leave a like if you did thanks for watching i hope you have an amazing day stay safe and i'll see you in my next video peace